In this video, we're gonna review American Airlines coming from LAX to Charlotte to Knoxville. It's a medium range airplane. The ride to LAX was quite smooth. Uh, it was really early in the morning. I left home at like almost 6. My flight at 7.30. I arrived at 6.30 a.m. One hour away from the flight. I got a little bit scared. LAX is pretty popping right now. It's, it's a lot of people right there but it's not too much travelers still. That's a bonus for me. Probably not good for the airport. The queue in American Airlines it was fast and that's all you print and then you go to another queue and drop off your um, luggage there. I was surprised that e-cigarettes and batteries are not allowed inside the check-in bag. It's not a hassle because my um, my pack is just this. These are my chargers so wait I left some chargers there. Oh oh no I wonder if it's okay with them. Yeah I have my chargers for my cameras there so I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll find out later. Oh my god that's my like my only battery so I don't know. And the original battery for my Canon is there. We'll just have to find out later. Okay and now you have to check with the TSA and that was pretty swift, not much people again, but there's still a bunch of people flying. So I would come like probably an hour and a half before the flight and not like an hour. But if you're fast, if you want to make it swift, I guess it's okay an hour away from the flight. I've already been checked in anyways. It's all in the phone, it's all contactless, no papers, it's good, it's great for the environment. Highly thumbs up on that American Airlines. Silver lining for this COVID, I would say, is that we made the future faster by having all this contactless technology, which helps us a lot. It might be harder for the older, for the older generation to follow, but we're here, the younger generation, not so young, but quite younger generation to understand and help our elders to travel, and they're not supposed to travel anyways. Um, they might have a hard time ordering food and stuff. Please help your elders and ask them if they need anything. LAX is pretty popping. A lot of shops are open. So that's really that's really good, right? The economy is getting better. Um, there's more jobs. Uh, or the back the jobs are back again. The flight is four hours. I might get hungry, so I got some food for me. And I got cheese it, a sandwich, and water. Guess what? The bill was 20 bucks. The thing is, like, people don't really social distance in the flight. It's quite dangerous. But I hope the mask helps. I kind of keep my distance, but I can't control it when someone is near me. And I don't want to be like, I don't want to give a foul face when they're near me. But I would say something if they're like too near me. Going inside um, American Airlines is by group. So that's good. We didn't have to pack so much. But there were a lot of people cutting lines. <laughs> um, I don't approve of that. Um, Are you yeah. vlogging? Yes. That is so cool. <laughs> is it working? Not yet. Oh. Oh, I did it wrong. Uh, thank you. Yeah, there's still no social distance going inside there. It's very compact. I kind of understand a little bit. Um, risk taker here. It's very scary for me. I was. I'm. I'm scared. Uh, I hope I don't get sick in the next few days because this is my birthday trip. Inside the plane, as I've said, the aisle is quite narrow because it's an Airbus 321, uh, 320 family, which is a medium range airplane. Um, the seats are comfortable. I like the fall leather that they use. This leather seat is quite comfortable. There are no TVs. There are no screens in this airplane ride. So the good thing is I downloaded some Netflix way ahead. I'm watching The Good Witch. I'm watching Hallmark. I can't believe I'm watching Hallmark. When you enter the plane, they already give you this packed snack. There's not much in the packed snack. There's like a cookie and then hands 
a sanitizing wipe and then a small water. So it's a good thing I brought my food with me and I get to snack while watching the movie. The space between people is small and I, and also there they allow middle seats. I was told not to film inside the plane. I already researched this and I'm allowed to film inside the plane because of freedom of speech. Um, one of the flight attendants told me that it's okay as long as they're not in it. So I'm gonna respect and not film them and include them. I'm so happy that the flight attendants of this flight um, are really, really nice. They're very helpful. They're passing back and forth with the rubbish bag um, to get um, to unload their rubbish. And it's like, I think not even not every hour, it's like every some minutes. Um, they're trying to keep everything clean. I've also heard that um, this plane has HEPA filters to get rid of um, the germs. And of course, everyone should wear masks. That's, that's a rule that's required. Oh, the bathroom. Yeah, of course the bathroom is small, but it's very clean. Soap is has even a lemon flavor, so that's good addition even though it's a budget airline. I would think this is a budget airline, right? My flight is like 350 US dollars going here. Um, ah, round trip from LAX to Knoxville. And plus $30 baggage. So you have to pay for baggage of $30. Um, and then the next baggage is going to be $40. Overhead cabinet has a lot of space. Um, it's a full, it didn't look like a full flight, but it's kind of like close to full flight. I was getting scared why there are middle seats. That's probably why the guy doesn't want me to film inside. I'm not sure. I'm supposed to give you an honest review of this flight, right? And now I'm here at Charlotte Airport and it's very pretty here. I'm seated in one of these rocking chairs. It's quite cute. It's a popping airport. A lot of people are here. Um, come and go. Um, behind me is a closed bar. I don't know why it's a closed bar. But most of the restaurants are here. There's even Chick-fil-A. Yeah. I uh, don't think I have time to eat in Chick-fil-A right now and I got food from LAX. So, on to my next flight now, going to Knoxville. I'll tell you if there's a difference. Oh, one thing more. Yeah, before we exit, the flight attendant told us to go by row so that the aisle can be like not so full. You know, like when you take off, like everyone's on the aisle. Um, well, so, some people followed, some people didn't. Because America loves their democracy. <laughs> I don't know the reasons. There must be a valid reason why they stood up so fast or they weren't listening. I'm not sure. But that was a good uh, thing to do to exit by row so that we don't get compact along the aisle, right? Okay, going to Knoxville right now. See ya! Hi, I just arrived here at Knoxville. The airport is called Mach G. Tyson airport it's mach g tyson airport because he's an aviator and his fa family donated a large airfield to knoxville and this is the airport right now that's why it's called mach g tyson airport i'm comparing my flight from lax to charlotte and charlotte to knoxville the big comparison is their plane it's both american airlines i rode an airbus a321 from LAX to Charlotte and to Charlotte I rode uh, CRJ700 Bombardier. It's a French Canadian company. It's a lot smaller. The Airbus 321 is a medium fleet but this one is like pretty small. The calculation is only two seaters on each side so I don't know if they put strangers side by side but I was seated by myself by the window which is very lucky i get to see the view the restroom is like tiny super tiny but cute and clean there is no toilet seat paper well i didn't need it because i squat american airline flight attendants here are i think friendlier thank you for flying american have a nice night <laughs> So I love it. Knoxville Airport is quaint, but it's so charming. It has its Christmas deco up right now. I think the theme is Smoky Mountain. It's so pretty. They have snow over there and they have their Christmas tree up. I'm waiting for my best friend now. We're gonna rent 
a car from one of the companies I forgot which one <laughs> so and then we're gonna head out to our hotel the Tunisian hotel it's the only luxury hotel in downtown my next vlog is gonna be the Tunisian hotel so if you want to keep in touch please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button thank you see you next time